What's going on guys? It's your boy Captain Jack. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also if you like this kind of stuff, definitely think about subscribing. Also, I want to say if you guys really enjoy my content, feel free to become a Patreon or join the mem as a membership on YouTube. Everything is in the description below. I really appreciate it. it. Everything would go towards making these videos much better, better quality, better adventures, and I really appreciate every one of you. So we went out the other day, and I kind of had a total mishaps. I lost my shaft, so I didn't use my normal gun, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and roll on that footage real quick right now for you before we go out right now. Today, we're going out with the crew. They're behind the cameras right now, but we got Scotty boy, Zach, my dad running the boat and we're gonna hopefully get into some fish. A little overcast today, but who knows, maybe that'll bring in the fish. Only one way to find out, so I will see you guys when we're out there on the spot in the water. Yeah. All right, so we start diving pretty far offshore in about 100 feet of water. I saw this permit pretty far up current. I decided to just make a drop. Maybe it would come into me and sure enough it does. You guys will see what happens and I'll talk about it once I get on the boat after this whole catastrophe goes down. All right, you guys, so you saw that uh, we're offshore. Uh, and I, uh, I made a drop on that permit. It was a nice shot, perfect shot, but what happened was this. Lost, uh, lost my shaft, it, uh, the line wore through, and honestly, it's probably a better idea to go through your gear before you go out. This thing has probably been out with me a few months, and instead of, you know, taking extra precaution and just getting new shot line, it just, uh, I, I, I didn't, and, uh, you know, I paid the price. Luckily, it wasn't like a 100-pound Kobe or a Wahoo or something because they would have just snapped because I just put a little pressure on the fish and he just snapped. But those sharks came in hot. It was pretty intense. Yeah, word to the wise, always check your gear before you go out and uh, re-up if you need new gear. And uh, But luckily, Zach has a gun, and I'm going to switch to his gun and get back in the water. Hopefully, we can keep the sharks off us. So one thing I really don't like doing is switching guns. Uh, I'm really used to my Rob Allen. There's not a lot of recoil since it has that roller. So I'm using a regular standard wooden gun. I know there's going to be some kickback and it actually causes me to miss this fish. I see a Kubera down on top of the wreck and I don't want to shoot into the wreck. So you'll see me wait and wait and wait for that Kubera to clear the wreck. And then I take a pretty far shot. I kind of didn't really have too high of hopes on this shot. And you'll see him once he clears the edge of this wreckage. I shoot, I miss. Uh, and I didn't want to shoot into the wreck because I didn't want the fish to go in the wreck because there were sharks all around. It just wouldn't have been a very good situation. So we head into even deeper water, 200 feet. The guys go make a drop on a big amberjack. That bull shark comes into Zach's face, so that blew his shot on this fish. And Scott knows he has to land a perfect shot to land the fish. He puts a lights out stone shot. I was there to put a backup shot to almost shoot instantaneous because there were probably about 20 sharks all around us and we knew we had to make the perfect shot on this fish to land him. Dude, no, dude. I was hey. the whole thing. The shark down the Yeah, hey, hey. Really, really I, yeah, dude, the shark, the shark I almost. Up, I gave it up for it. I, I'll finish, but it's, no, it, it was cool. I was riding above really cool. I was happy. I you, drove down to shoot the fish, and then a bull shark came up to my face like you, this, so you, I gave up on this on the fish, and you came right behind me and shot it. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was cool. good. It was good. I'm glad, because, yeah, there was... I saw the bull shark coming to you. I was about to, like, scream. It's going to bite me. But, uh... down. Oh, we, I, was, I was above both of you. Nice, dude. Good shot, dude. I figured I had to roll one. Let's, uh... Yeah, I, I was right next to you. Yeah. Hey, uh... Hey, let's, uh... Let's gut it. Let's gut it, and, uh... Lead it. So that was pretty sick. AJ came into the flasher as we were in like 200 feet. He came all the way up towards the surface and all of us dove because there were so many sharks around. We had to make sure we landed a good shot on this thing. And uh, 
So all three of us dove. I was kind of sitting there just to be back up for once one of these guys shoot it. Zach had a shot, but then a bull strike came right into his face. You could see it in the video. And then uh, I kind of followed Scott and Scott puts a lights out stone shot on the thing. So that made life super easy. Um, I just know that none of us were gonna take a shot unless we had a perfect shot because there were so many sharks. It would have been dumb to have that thing run. Probably would have lost it. We would have lost some gear. So it was uh, wise to take the shot that uh, that Scotty boy took. Scotty, what was, what was your heart telling you? Let it fly. Shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was literally right behind him. I was lined up on it too because I was waiting for if Scott shot and it didn't stone him, I was gonna shoot like almost into instantaneous. And uh, but we're lucky we got the fish and he's gonna go in the boat and I'm gonna throw him in the smoker when we get back. So we'll see you guys at the dock. Super pumped. That was our last dive of the day, regardless. So luckily we came in with a big fish. Nice goldfish, bro. Big boy. Good stuff. Yeah. You can see his nipples perfectly. All right, guys. So we are inshore now. We're going to try to hit some uh, lobster spots. Trying to get a little mixed bag to take home for dinner. So I'll see you guys in the water. So while we were diving, I ran into this huge school of tarpon. And it's always cool seeing such big fish. And each one of these are almost six feet long. So for any fisherman out there, this would be a fisherman's dream to hook up on one of these big, gigantic tarpon. So Zach got into him. Look at the size of this crawfish. Oh, woohoo! Fucking joke there. Yeah, I mean, but don't forget, you get what you pay for. So we got him the fish, we're here cleaning them. Gonna be using my Soflo spear fishing knife if you uh, wanna get one of these bad boys. Super affordable, I'll leave a link in the description below. Yeah, we're going to get to cleaning these and I'll show you guys kind of a little time lapse of it. All right, so while we're cleaning this thing, check this out. Sometimes these things have worms in them and look at this one. Ready for it? Oh, oh God. Uh, 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 oh my gosh. 100 bucks if I surf this up. <laughs> that was a nice one, yeah. Dude, that was a little tiny speck and it came all the way out. Nice. You would taste that one. Here you go. You would taste it. You wouldn't even know. It. All right, so that day was good. We got some fish. Good little day of diving, but today we are going for Cobia. I heard they are around, and we're going with my boy Matt Thompson. We got Scotty Boy on the boat. We got Sebastian, Logan, and we're gonna get after it. We're punching offshore. Hopefully the visit is good, and we're gonna give you some run through on how to land some Cobia on some big old sharks. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys out there on the water. You pumped? You pumped? Oh yeah. You amped? Let's dive. So we get in the water late afternoon. We only have a couple hours to dive and it is called Shark 30 at this time. And you'll understand why in just a minute. Nevermore comes in trying to eat our chum. So I give him a little jab with the knife just to let him know that this stuff ain't for him. I make a drop, we're on a wreck and I shoot this rainbow runner. There are sharks everywhere. And so I have to put the brakes on this guy. You, you'll see these sharks just come in hot and they're coming all the way up to the surface with us now my shot was a little high on that runner so i didn't land the fish but we kind of realized that the sharks are definitely around and they are not leaving us alone so scott and i make a drop in about 60 feet i kind of like doing these double drops uh, especially if we have multiple divers in the water we had four total so there were at least one or two people at the surface watching us I kind of just at least wanted dinner. And the area we're at is a really good area for some snapper. So I kind of had my eyes on the lookout for a snapper. And sure enough, I see a little mangrove snapper come in. 
and these guys have to be 10 inches so this guy ends up being about 12 13 and I put the lights out shot on him and this guy is gonna be perfect for whole cooking and one thing I love doing while I'm diving is cleaning a fish for whole cooking and you'll see what I do I gut them head them scale them and it makes an easy meal without cleaning the fish when you get back to the dock tournament winner giant fucking trophy yeah <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do with him, Scotty? Whole cooker. Fuck yeah. I gotta have something for dinner. So here's a little pro tip for you guys. You'll see what I do is I use the back of my spear, that little loop, I hook it onto the carabiner or on my belt, and I just leave everything out to the side of my gun. And I use this so I can go ahead, quickly clean the fish. I bleed him, gut him, gill him, scale him, and then he's ready for consumption once I get back to the dock. All right, you guys, we finished cleaning the fish. We are gonna load the boat up and head home. If you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. And like always, guys, I will see you next week for another adventure. Later.